here we are going to create a um, phyl uh, phylogenetic tree. Remember in muscle, in tea coffee and MAFT, MAFT, you have, well, MAFT can give a, an actual phylogenetic tree. However, the ones that we use were just for multiple sequence alignment. So there is another site, a MAFT site, that also gives a phylogenetic tree. So let's begin with um, phylogene phylogeny FR. So this is the site you go to. And to begin, you will need all the human calvin sequences and also the sequence that you, the um, gene that you're working with. So from there, you go down to one click. Use one click and not the advance. So one click will take you to this area. This is where you're going to add the sequences. So you're going to add all human calvin sequences and the sequence that you're working with. So here I am adding human copying sequences. And you can add it anywhere, but here I'm going to add a, uh, <clears throat> one of the genes. Well, just for example, I'm going to add a gene of interest. It's just for um, demonstration purposes. So if I grab the sequence here, and I'm going to add the sequence right there. So now this is the protein I'll be working with, and this is the sequence for all human calvins. You don't need this protein here, so you can remove this. Be sure you have this modern sign, okay? and of course each sequence should have one of these. Remove, use, use the G-Block program, so remove this, unclick it, and then you're going to submit. This takes time, alright, it does take time. The best thing to do for this is add your email address. I'm going to add my email address. So in that case, once it's done, it will send me a copy of it. And then you submit. Okay, so this will take time. It does take time. Sometimes it's fast. Sometimes it's, it takes hours. Or it could take a couple hours depending on how busy the server is. Okay, now the other one that we are using is M-A-F-F-E phylogenetic tree. So here we'll take this site. So this is the second site. Okay, I will add this to communications that I will send. You will do the very same thing here. So you add your sequences, add the human helping sequences. Now you may have all of this together if you it from coffee or muscle or all of that. All that. This didn't copy out, so let's get rid of this. It didn't copy the way it should be, so let's get rid of that one. And let's do it again. Okay, so I am collecting my sequences, my human sequences, and now I am pasting them right there. Okay, so that's correct. Once you've done this, you don't need to change any of these um, options. So just submit. And this one will take less time than phylogeny FR. See, it takes time. Phylogeny FR does not, I mean, sorry, MAFT does not take that much time to give you the, uh, the phylogen phylogenetic tree. So this is the alignment that is used, that it is using. So it is using the clustered format. And then eventually it will show you. So if you go to phylogeny, phylogenetic tree, click on phylogenetic tree. You don't need to change this option right now. These are just different options how to do um, <clears throat> different ones. So you can play with each one. For example, you could do this one, then go to the next one and see how different your results would be. All right, so you can use, I think the best one would be average linkage. But we could begin with um, neighborhood joining. NJ stands for neighborhood, neighborhood joining. So we can begin with this and then afterwards you can try something else and see how different they are. Once you've done that, you say go. And you should eventually have this. So view tree on Archaeopteri. And that should give you a phylogenetic tree.
So here is a phylogenetic tree from MAFT. And again, it shows you, this is the real phylogenetic tree because you can see that the stems are of different, the stems and branches are of, of different length, which tells you that it is taking some type of measurement into consideration. All right, so here you can see where is the gene of interest. So this gene of interest is kind of close to Calpin 7 and Calpin 16. This is Calpin 15. There is some similarity or close enough, but we can see it's not as close as if you had, for example, you can see 2, 3, and 8 are closely related. Um, 4 and 9 are more closely related because they, are on the, they come from the same stem. This one comes from this stem. Okay, so in that case, you can see it's closely related to this, or it is even closely related to that compared to the others. Now, there are different options. You can, um, yeah, so that's fine. So, although there should be options to show you to change the settings, but it's fine. Okay, so this is what you get from MathTees. So you can copy and paste this diagram. Don't forget to give a figure number. Um, say what the diagram is and say something important that it, that say what you want to um, what you would like to tell somebody about this diagram. For example, I would say, okay, this is the phylogenetic tree using human and my gene of interest. Now, what do I want to say about this? Well, I want to say that this gene of this gene of my gene of interest is closely related to 7 and 16 compared to the others. At least you see something that you want somebody when they look at these things, they know exactly what you are trying to see. This is phylogenetic FR. As I said, the job is being processed. It takes time. All right, sometimes it does take time before you get to see any result from that. But the good thing is you have an email, you add your email address, and it will eventually, actually, here it is. So what I did was I clicked on, you can also, I just clicked on this and it gave me something. So this is the result from phylogenetic FR. And here we see, this is the gene. We see that it is close to 15, 7, and 16. Now it it is similar, right? When you compare the other one that we just got, where was it? The other one we got, so it's somewhat similar to. So you can see for this one, it is this stem gives you 15 by itself. Then you can see you have sorry 15 and you have 16 and 17. This one you have 16 and 7. Okay, so 16 and 7, and then you have 15. So it is somewhat similar to what you have for. Um, so basically, this is similar to what we have from MathT. All right, so this is how you get your phylogenetic tree using phylo phylogeny FR and MathT.